Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing how to get you free, my friend, from the false doctrine, the false teaching of sowing seed, which we know, my friend, is money. Sowing your money to get blessings from God. My friend, it is a false doctrine, and I share this thought with you if you teach this that God is warning you, my friend, it is wicked. It is wicked. It is a practice of corrupt preachers. When a person, my friend, has an ulterior motive, when they go to the scriptures, they are easily beguiled and many of them want to be because they have an agenda and that is ultimately to get your money from you. And as a result, many of us don't have faith in God as creator. We do not respect God's sovereignty. We do not respect that truly he has get, given us his only begotten son and if we will believe, we shall be saved from God's wrath. But that's not enough when you are dealing with a cult leader, a false teacher, who twists your thinking to believe that God is your personal Santa Claus. And everything that you want, you can name it, blab it, and grab it. You can sow, sow it and grow it, your money. And get what you want, not only for you, but for your whole family. My friend, this is dangerous. And this is why God said, many people, you have no joy. You have no peace. You have no uh, fruit of the spirit in your life. You're miserable, miserable, you're downcast. In other words, my friend, you don't have oxygen. See, the Holy Spirit... Spirit meaning pneuma, breath of God. Many of us have spiritual pneumonia. We are sick spiritually because we have allowed charlatans and all snake uh, 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 salesmen, Buki in a suit, that's what I call them, Slick Ricky, Baby Ray Ray kids, make sure you get that video I did last week. It'll bless you. These people are are deceiving you, my friend. The word seed is only found in the scriptures, three references, three times, three references. And in the Bible, this, the word seed means the word of God. It means children. God had commanded them to be fruitful and what? Multiply. So when a man is carrying his seed, this is how we have our children. And then we also have the seeds that come from a tree. And we are blessed by every tree that bear fruit. Or from the ground, my friend, when you put uh, uh, strawberry seeds, you're going to get strawberries. If you put an apple seed, you will get apples. But what they want you to believe, my friend, this is what they want you to believe that you can give your money and get more from God. It's a lie. And many lives have been shattered. People are angry with God because those fake preachers, these jesters, these uh, 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 false teachers and corrupt uh, preachers have tricked many of you to believe that you could get whatever you want. And what has happened, my friend, many of our hearts, are filled with greed. Greed. Our hearts are filled with greed. And as a result, many of us, we do not have the expression of the kingdom, which is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Let's look at their two most popular scriptures, my friend. And I want you to keep in mind why I'm teaching this and exhorting you so that you can get free from this false doctrine of sowing seed 
your money, which is a worldly concept, my friend. In the world of business, you can take your money, give it to a, a, a broker. This is why we have the stock market. This is why we have insurance brokers. This is why we have investment brokers. They are working with other people's money to bring about an increase, a return, and that's what these men and women are doing, except they're using the scriptures, lying on God, embezzling from the churches your money. They're, they're, they're spiritual embezzlers, misappropriating your money, standing as word brokers. That's what they are, my friend. And the return is, you. This is, this is the irony. This is what is so strange about this doctrine. I need you to think, my friend. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. These people tell you that if you sow your seed to them, to their ministry, they will boldly, arrogantly tell you it's good ground. They tell you to sow it but you're actually giving your money to them. You're not giving your money to God. Let's make that very clear, my friend, because most of and all, 90% of these people that preach this false doctrine of sowing seed live off the hog. They live off of your money. They put their kids through college. They shop. They fly around. They just did an investigation of a preacher who has a, a private jet, and they, they retrieved his records. And these records show that this man took over 2,500 flights with this private jet, and none, it, and none, mostly of these trips were accounted for, my friend. Why? Because this is what they do once you sow into him or her, you sow into the man. Don't make no mistake. Just living, flying to all the, they had records. He went to all these different uh, islands in Hawaii. He was all over the place, jet setting. While you, my friend, giving this man or this woman your retirement money, your rent money, your mortgage money, your car payments, your food allowance, friend, wake, wake up. You are being deceived. There are multitudes and masses of people. You are angry at God because you believe the false teacher. Now hear me and hear me very clear as we open this, these two scriptures. There are two kingdoms. There, there is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then there is the God of this present world. He is the one who devised this plan of money making. That's the stock market and all that in the world, the secular world. When you don't understand that the root, the love of money is the root of all evil, that unless you understand that Jesus was speaking in one of their favorite scriptures, which is found in Matthew chapter 13, where Jesus said he gave a parable an illustration about a sower. He was taking seed and he was tossing this seed out. He was, he was, he was tossing it. And Jesus mentioned to us about soil and that is our heart where the heart is, how some will spring forth 30, 60, a hundred fold. This scripture by jesters, liars, and tricksters has absolutely nothing to do with money. And I mean, absolutely nothing. The reason why most people who sow seed and write their names on their checks are angry at God full of hatred, full of discontent, they're discontented and frustrated is because what Jesus wants from his followers and disciples is for us to help him harvest souls by sowing the word and, and, and allowing that word to go into the soil of a man's heart. We're tealing some of us are planting, some of us are watering. So while we're sitting around looking for a return from all these seeds we done sold to the fake preachers, 
the real harvest where he's looking for us to sow the word of faith, which is in Christ Jesus, is totally abandoned. And this is why our nation, my friend, is full of angry people, full of people who hate the church, people who hate God secretly in their hearts because they didn't get what the jesters told them they were going to get. New houses, new cars, your bills pay. You have shipwrecked in your faith because why, my friend? The wicked jesters has tricked you. And today my assignment is to, to, to pray with you, and to give you this exhortation, you've been deceived, my friend. God is not our Santa Claus. He is God. And if all he gives you, hear me, my friend, is salvation from his wrath through Christ Jesus, and that's all you experience on this side, my friend, you, you are blessed. You have reaped the eternal harvest of eternal life with God, friend. You're blessed. Their second most favorite, favorite scripture that they twist is found in Luke chapter six, verse 28, where Jesus said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give unto your bosom and it shall be running over. My friend, please hear me. Jesus is not talking about giving your money to a fake preacher. The New Testament church, we are to give free will love offerings. We give freely. Corinthians, that book tells us we give with, without being uh, 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 enticed or intimidated or begrudgingly. We give with a cheerful heart as we purpose to give. But they tell you, give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down. Not to them, my friend. Many of you that has been tricked by these fake preachers, you're giving all your money to them instead of your coworkers who have told you they're being put out, instead of giving your money to the poor, instead of helping downtrodden people in your neighborhood. Some of you have money to go to low-income areas of your city and buy groceries for those single women coming through there with all them kids on the bus with a stroller walking up and down the street. That's who you sow, my friend. That's who, if you want to sow, that's who you give so you can re get a return, good measure, press down, shake it together. You give to men and you shall receive it back to you. Not to the preacher because they're not giving you anything, my friend. Try getting a bill paid. Try getting your light bill pay paid, my friend. You, the very ones that keep giving them your tithes and your offerings, get in trouble and see how quick they turn around your return. Oh, you go find it out, my friend. And many of you have. God said you have been tricked. You have been bamboozled, my friend. We give God our lives. And God has said, and I've been proclaiming on my channel, God said to tell the church, I need help. I need workers. I need hands to harvest the souls of men. That is where we sow the seed. And most of you, my friend, and then I'm going to pray for you. I want you to catch this. You are so busy looking for your harvest. N none of you can remember the last time you asked your fellow man if they were, if they died, where would they spend eternity? But yet you are constantly looking for your return from the fake preacher's lies. God said, be healed, friend. You've been tricked. God is looking over his harvest. And many of us have come up short. We spend no time thinking about his harvest. And we have not planted one seed of faith in Jesus Christ. My friend, it is hypocrisy. It is arrogance to actually think God wants to shower us with all these blessings and we refuse to help him harvest these lost souls that are going to be in the lake of fire, my friend, separated from God, burning in the lake of fire forever while we're chasing our returns from the fake preacher's lie to get a bigger house, more clothes, more shoes, a bigger hot ride, God help us all. Now, my friend, in closing, let me give you this. The word of God tells us to buy the truth and sell it not. Don't give up the truth of Jesus Christ. We don't sell the truth of God. We give it away free. 
And God is saying, my friend, hear me and hear me very well. Solomon did not sow one seed to receive what God gave him. God asked, what can I do for you? He said, I want discernment. That's, that's true riches, my friend. When you have the mind of God to work out and solve problems and to push past pain, diggle your harvest, friend. See, our, our, our currency, heaven's currency, my friend, is peace and joy. So some of you think you got a harvest, but your, your wealth and your expansion has bought you nothing but grief. Nothing but grief. You're depressed. Some of you are suicidal because you have bought a lie. God gave Solomon his wealth. What seeds did Paul sow when he was shipwrecked, beaten many times by the Roman whip, bitten by a snake, a serpent? Constantly, this man got a bounty on his back. He's in the Ephesus jail, him and Silas praising God. Who did he sow his seeds to? Who did John the Revelator, who was exiled to the Isle of Patmos, give his seeds to? Where did he sow it so he could grow it? Because I want you to, to, to understand, my friend, that John was in a very deserted, this, this island is said to be rocky and it was a vicious island. There was no Taco Bell. He couldn't run for the border. Who did he sow his seeds to for his needs? Who did Stephen sow his seeds to when they stoned him to death, my friend? This was God's man evangelizing. They stoned him to death. My friend, you, you have been deceived. Now let us pray. Father, we asking God to give us deliverance to get this out of your head. God is not your magic genie. God is not your Santa Claus. He is God and we should respect him and we should submit to his will. Some of you, you're not ready for a new car. You're not ready because the one you had, you, you mistreated the thing. You barely changed the oil. The thing was filthy. You didn't help nobody. You didn't take nobody nowhere in it. You didn't do nothing for the kingdom at all. And some of you, you don't need a new house because the one you got is filthy. You won't take care of it. You won't do the basic cleanup for your own dwelling that God gave you, my friend. And you are the main one to keep writing these checks to these fake preachers and apostles and prophets trying to get more. My friend, be free. Be healed. There is no such thing as sowing seed. The Bible tells us in the book of Acts, it is better to give than to receive. And when you give, do not look for anything in return. That's the true follower of Jesus Christ. We do it because we love the people. We do it because we, we want to see them better. We don't give so that we can get anything. We're doing it because we love, just like God so, so loved the world he gave. So my friend, lift up your hands and be set free from this false doctrine, this damnable doctrine of devils. And I mean devils. Any church that you're going to that teach so seed, they are from the other kingdom. They are corrupt. They are sinister ministers, and they need to repent. Do not give them another dime, my friend. Go ask the Holy Ghost what to do with that money. My friend, be set free. Be set free. Be set free in the name of Jesus. I pray that the wind of heaven blow upon your heart and mind and blow all those lies right out of your spirit. I pray that you be healed, friend. If you are angry at Jesus, if you're angry at God, our heavenly father, because these charlatans, these sinister ministers have lied to you. I pray for a fresh wind, a fresh anointing of God's truth be upon your life. Be free and be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed from this damnable false doctrine of sowing your money to get more money. God have mercy on every preacher who will hear this. My God in heaven, set them free. 
and help them to go back out in truth. Help them to go and denounce this before their congregations, that it is wrong, that they are to give as their heart purpose to give. And if you never give them anything, God, it should be well with their soul. I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse every heart and that you, my friend, will begin to walk by faith. And that when you give, you give with a cheerful heart. You give to be a blessing. I love you, my friend. Till next time, be free.